And it is such a beautiful day outside, wow. sunny, but a little cooler than usual, Brian. Yeah here with your 13 first floor forecast. And the bad news, right? I have to bring, <laughs> there, there are changes on the way that are gonna rip away these great temperatures that you've probably been out and enjoyed today. You went, this I could get used to, right? Yeah, I gotta get used to this, go get used to this. Stratcam Live, blue sky out there, looking pretty good. Wind's finally calming down. What a bonus that is. Temperatures, we showed you some earlier, but some more. Look at those numbers, upper 70s, lower 80s. And interestingly enough, look at this. This won't happen for us but a freeze warning for a good portion of our state. Freeze warning. That should show you how cold this system was that is now exiting out of the area, taking the wind with it, but we'll also see a big warm up on the way. But for another day and a half, folks up in the north, and look at Northern Nye County, areas to the north will actually continue to see that. We have no watches or warnings at this point, but that was a chilly system. All it could do is lower us down into the 70s. That's all, right? So wind will not be our biggest issue this week. It'll be ever present in the form of some breezes, but we're really looking at a, a big warm up. And when I say big, I'm not exaggerating. I might even be like tempering it a little bit. It should be huge. It should be something even bigger than that. Bigger word we need. Uh, but so far, so good. Nice and clear skies. So where's that old system that brought us all that colder air? You notice it's not down to the south here. We look good. It's up to the north. Look at that. That's exiting out, taking the wind with it once again. But on the backside, it's dragged in enough of that Canadian cold air, imported some Canadian air right there down to the south. It's going to make a difference in how it feels. But it will continue to exit once again, taking all the wind with it. What a, we don't care about the wind now. It's all about the warmth that will soon be just plain hot. We will start off this week, oh, on the mild to warm side, but we're going to end it off, oh, so hot. Those numbers are going to be quite large when I show them to you in just a moment here, but look at that. I think uh, especially beyond midweek, that's when we're really going to start to see things change. So for tonight, we'll likely see temperatures hover in the 50s, 60s, even some areas in the 40s there, and of course, farther north uh, for a spell getting just below the freezing mark. I know it seems hard to believe. What? It isn't summer just, what, almost a week away, and that's it? Uh, but temperatures tomorrow slowly start to rebound. I say slowly, but actually, it's, it might be a pretty quick uh, uh, move up to the north, you know, as far as the temperatures are concerned. So we're looking at some warmer air in the picture, but warmer yet as we get into the weekend, into Father's Day as well. Look at the end of the weekend. It's about time we were just uh, interested in seeing those 105s for the first time. Now 110s are starting to show up. The order of the day uh, yeah, Electric Day Easy Carnival this weekend. It's going to be another hot one. It seems like it always is. They always have to push a lot of water at those, that's for sure. So uh, I don't have to remind you to hydrate. You'll know that because you'll feel that the sweat will be dripping off you. 80s for overnight lows. Afternoon highs not only get to 110, but probably a little richer than that thereafter. Back to you.